Hey everybody, we're about to check out the damn trailer for T2, not Terminator 2, T2 Transpotting 2. Uh, it's a bit of a weird title, I'm not a big fan of the title at all. Uh, but I am a fan of the original movie and I can't believe, it's really weird, I can't remember when they announced this. It's like, Danny Boyle is returning to direct Transpotting 2 with like the whole crew back. And I'm like, really? Okay, maybe, maybe this is one of these movies with... Because we're in a weird age where they, they just keep making sequels to old movies or rebooting them and all this sort of stuff. But I'm like, you know what? With Danny Boyle? And it's not a reboot, it's a sequel? I can get excited for this. Um, I have no idea what to expect from the plot. Um, I want to rewatch the first movie again prior to seeing this, obviously. Because it's been a few years. But Transporting is a great freaking movie. It's one of Ewan McGregor's best movies even after all these years and i'm a fan of will mcgregor in general um uh, best thing about the prequels is will mcgregor so let's just dive in because i have no idea what it's actually going to be about until this stage hello mark hello mate so what you've been up to for 20 years <laughs> Oh, yeah, because he fucked off, didn't he? He just jumped life. onto this, the subway. Choose Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and hope that someone, somewhere cares. <laughs> missed you, mate. I missed you too, Spud. Choose looking up old flames, wishing you'd done it all differently. Do you still take heroin? No. And choose watching history repeat itself. Hello, oh, Franco. Simon. I'm home. <laughs> Choose oh, your future. Call the police. What shall I say? Just tell them we're dead. Choose reality TV, slut shaming, revenge porn. Yeah. Choose a zero hour contract, a two hour journey to work, and choose the same for your kids, only worse. And smother the pain with an unknown dose of an unknown drug made in somebody's kitchen. And then take a deep breath. <sighs> Very Danny Boyle looking cinema so be film, isn't it? Just be addicted to something else. Choose the ones you love. Choose your future. Choose life. This down there. That was a bit weird of a bit weird choice. I'm like, I'm done talking to you. So let me just push this out of the fucking way. My goodness. Um, the interesting thing about that is, uh, I didn't really, I don't, I didn't get much plot, but I did get a good tone. I did get a good, and I didn't get too much like, uh, wink, wink. Rem remember the first train spotting? Wink, wink. They're like, it just, fit, it felt natural. It felt like a natural. And that's the best way to do these movies, of course. Just just make it feel natural. It's been... It, I suppose by the time it releases, it has been 20 years. That's like the joke. Oh, where have you been for 20 years? Because the end of the movie fucking runs... No, but maybe you haven't seen it. I've been not spoiled. They, um... So it just feels like a natural... Con lead on from that. It, it didn't feel like weird. None of the actors... Fr from the trailer, of course. None of the actors from the trailer felt... Oh, you're trying really hard to be that character again, but it's been a really long time and you can't fit into the role. Everyone felt natural. Of course, people look older. Um, Ewan McGregor doesn't... Ewan McGregor in the original, he, he kind of... At the time, he was like, this guy could be a fucking drug addict. Here, he doesn't look so much more as a drug addict. And maybe that's because he comes into the film and he maybe ha hasn't actually been on drugs for a while and he gets dragged back into it all because of fucking spud. But they all look fine. It looks like a... It obviously looks like a Danny Boyle picture. Look at the weird tones, the way it's shot, edited, all that sort of stuff. You're like, yes, it is a Danny Boyle picture. And I'm excited for that because Danny Boyle is an interesting guy. Um, does interesting movies, has an interesting style, even if his movies might be bad. You're like, well, it's a Danny Boyle style. It's like if Edgar Wright did a bad movie, it would be like, oh, it's got Edgar Wright's style. Um, or Tarantino or someone. Like, he has a style to it. That's great. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting more information and going into another trailer uh, trailer 2, and I should probably, m maybe, if I find the time, because it's always an issue of time, guys. There's not enough time in the world to do anything I want. 
Um, I'd like to go back and rewatch the first movie again, um, and then rewatch this trailer and be ready for it because it's, it's not far away. They dropped this trailer now. The movie's out in January, so I should probably do that over the holiday period or early January or something like that. Maybe I'll just do it tomorrow out of the blue. Bam! Watching Train Spotting. I don't think I own Train Spotting though. Maybe it's on Netflix or something. Side topic. Um, I'm giving the trailer double thumbs up because I did enjoy it. I was like paying real close attention. I didn't have much to 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 critic and everything like that. As I said, everyone looks great. Um, it's got a good tone, it's got a good style to it. Um, didn't give away heaps of story, but I've got enough of an idea of what's happening, apart from the fact I don't know why he's back. Um, but let's go. Yeah, I, re I enjoyed it.